Hello and welcome. Today I am very excited because I have gotten one of these. This is a Casio CA110. For a long time I've wanted an old 80s Casio like this, uh, simply out of nostalgia because when I was a kid I had a Casio SA10. So these sounds in these kind of Casio keyboards are very nostalgic to me and, and it brings back a lot of memories to be honest. These kind of Casio keyboards that were released in the late 80s, they feature a technology called pulse code modulation. So this is not really a synthesizer. Uh, what they did is they sampled waveforms which they looped and that is the sound that's created. So that's why it's called a tone bank keyboard. And also these kind of Casio keyboards are, are maybe not considered the most professional instruments. So you can get them for a quite low price. I actually got this for 20 bucks at the second hand store. Uh, which is around 20 euros. So it's not a lot of money for a keyboard like this. Really excited now on trying this out and, and, and see if I can remember any of these sounds from my old keyboard that I had when I was a kid that now is unfortunately lost. So I plan to do two videos on this one. So first video now I will just do a reaction video and I will react to these sounds. And then I will do a second video where I create a 90s inspired dance music track using only this keyboard as an instrument. That will be super exciting. But now just first to explain some of the features. So apart from the keyboard, uh, you have the possibility to toggle between fingered or Casio chord. And you also have this button that's really interesting, this function. Uh, here you can switch between poly and texture. Poly mode, you have eight tones of polyphony. In texture mode, you're limited to four. And what it does then basically, it uses then the sound engine to create more complex sounds. So for example, you maybe add some effects or, or you play two sounds at the same time or something, create a chord or octave or something. So that is the texture function. But then now let's just get down to business and start exploring these sounds and see how I react to this. So first a basic piano sound, maybe not so exciting. Ooh, electric piano. This is quite nice. Yeah, good for house music. Really nice. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, we have a number of organ sounds now. That was the electric organ. Jazz organ. Yeah, church organ. Apparently that's supposed to be a samba whistle. Now we have some more blowing instruments here. A flute. A float vibraphone combination. Ah, oh, the orcarina, this one is nice. Yeah, see here, here it is. Here the poly texture really makes difference. So in poly mode, uh, the chord sounds nice, but if I want to use it as a mono synth, I should go for texture. Then you get a bit more reverb, so that's nice. <laughs> ah, the bagpipe. This one brings me back. Oh, 
that's ever so much fun. Now we have all the different strings. So this is the brass string. A warm string. Simply string. A violin. That's a bit low frequency. Yeah, now we have the different guitar sounds. Ah, this one I remember, the metal guitar. This is nice. Now we have the bass sound, so this was the slap bass, very 80s, very nice. Electric bass. A wood bass, very nice. <laughs> Snare bass, I don't know what I'm going to use that one for. <laughs> This one is nice. Ah, okay, now, now we have all the brass sounds, so I will just run them all through. Almost all except the last one that was called uh, clarinet were pretty much the same brass sound, just with different envelopes and filters that they used when they sampled the sounds. But quite an extensive collection of brass sounds. Ah, now we have the percussions. This is going to be interesting. Marimba. Mm, church bells. Ah, electric tombs. Ah, now we have the drums. So let's see what we can find here. What cool 80s drums you hide from me, Ocasio. Not the best snare drum I've ever heard, but cool. Decent hi-hat. <laughs> oh god. No, this, this is honestly one of the weirdest open hats I've ever heard. <laughs> 
quite unique, so I like it, I like it a lot. And now we have the second drum kit, which is swing drums. Mm, very low-fi snare drum, but quite cool. Mmm, a rim shot. Mm, this is useful. And this ride symbol is very useful, so some cool drums actually. <laughs> this sounds like an old 80s karate movie. Fight! Okay, now we have all the synths. So I will just run through the 10 synths we have. Ah, synth bass. Also very 80s, very cool. So that was the last individual sound. Then the rest uh, is basically only keyboard split, where I can have like one sound on this side and another on this side, like for example this. So 
then I think it's time we dig in a bit to the rhythm section and, and let's see what we can produce. Let's, uh, let's start and create some uh, heavy metal. Yeah, Metallica would be proud. <laughs> uh, let's see, what more do we have? Oh, Eurobeat, we have to try that as well. Uh, let's see, 22. This is techno pop. This is so much fun. We have to finish with something. Let's go with some hip hop. Mad hip hop producer with the Cassius in. <laughs> no, but this was awesome. So I, I really enjoyed reliving all these old school sounds. It was amazing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Next episode, I will uh, try to create a 90s dance track only using this as an instrument. So you do not want to miss that. Also, remember to like this video and also click subscribe so you don't miss any of my future episodes. And that is all for this time. Ta-da!